Welcome back everyone, it's time to lock down Arena, and we are going to jump into traditional ranked again here and play some more Simic Merfolk. We're 1-1 one one right now, lost against a mass, uh, won against some mono red goblins. Uh, so let's see if we can uh, put another win on the board. Uh, against Rahashahash. They're going first. Ch -ch -ch -ch. We can keep this. This is fine. It's a little slow. A little bit slow. But we are in the draw, so we could pull into an island here. I did. Okay. Alright, so Mono Red. Alright, uh, it'll be slow going, but we kind of have to set up our board right first to make sure nothing gets shot out of the sky here. We are going to take some hits, man. All in. Let's, uh... Hmm... We'll lead with Silvergill. Show him, uh... Miss Cloak. <clears throat> well, that looks so I figured. We'll still get our card draw. Straight to my face. Taken three. Ouch. I don't know if we can survive a turn if we want to set up deep root. I would like to set up deep root. Um, well, what are we going to do here? Take another three. Go to nine. They got one card in hand. Let's, yeah, let's try to, we'll, we'll take a chance here and see if we can establish a board. I don't really like passing the turn with no creatures on board here, but... Ugh, that's, that's not fun. So we're going to go to seven. But... We can get some beefy boys on the field, so I think we're just going to go Mistbinder into Mistbinder here. Establish a nice dominant board. Boom. Now I got a bunch of 3 threes. You want to attack in still? Fortunately, we're prone to removal. Who knows what they have in their hand? Block one. Mm-mm-mm. Well, yeah, no, we'll, we'll block both. Even if they take out one of these, we can trade. That's fine. We're gonna trade these out. Okay. Passing the turn. So... Drop Miss Cloak Herald. We'll drop Ben. And, uh, hmm. Do we want to set up the River Sneak? We're at seven. Yeah, we'll st we'll set up next turn for River Sneak. Pass. 
pass to you. Probably expecting Miss Binder to go away this turn. Okay, just another lava runner. I don't mind that that much. Okay, passing to us. Just nice. Let's tap down the lava runner. And do we chart a course now? We could chart a course now and try to get one extra merfolk on the field. Pump up river sneak some more. Uh, I don't think that's entirely worth it. I think we'll just attack in. Ben, this cloak, these, this, this. We'll, we'll go like this. We'll do all these. They're going to be taking a good amount of damage. Deep root waters. Helping us big here, this game. Taking the damage. Let's refill our hand a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so we will pass the turn. We'll make sure we get in our uh, buffs on River Sneak next turn if it survives. Finish out the game. Yeah. Alright, cool. Game two. Oh, what do we want to see here? The gates might be alright. Wizard's retort. I could drop a seafloor. We're gonna wanna be a little bit fast. And take out a couple bends to bring in a couple more negates. Sure, we'll do that. And they're still sideboarding. Oh man. Moan, there we go. Would you play first or second? Oof. This is a rough hand. I think we need to mulligan this. That's a rough hand, too. <sighs> Man. At least we can start getting some cushion with Mistbinder and Skydiver, but... That is not a great starting hand. Gosh dang. We're so far away from everything. Uh, we gotta put that to the bottom. We need to find our land. Firebrand out the gate. Alright, we find our land, but we still have an extremely slow hand. Firebrands is not fun either. Yeah, this is just not great. Not a great starting hand. 
I didn't really want to mulligan one more because we've got the deep root and everything, but we've just got such a slow clock now. We'll try to eat one of their fanatical firebrands so they don't sack two and take out our misbinder. Although, Trickster, they're probably just holding on to removal, so... Or not? Okay. Alright, so their hand... I don't know what they got going on in their hand right now. Alright, Steam Kid. Okay. So they're setting up for some stuff. Okay, now we can start playing a couple things. So... What do we need to do again? They get two cards in hand. Let's try to let's try to sub deep root waters. I think we need to keep going wide on this, just like we did last game. I could have played Miss Binder and Miss Cloak Herald. Ooh, Legion War boss is not good. That's not good. Take out one of the lava runners. We'll see if our trickster survives here. Oh, they're just gonna fanatical firebrand it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I should have seen that. We're still in not great shape. Hmm. All right, we'll do Mistbinder. We'll do Skydiver. I think we're gonna try to help protect our Mistbinder a little bit. So we're going to put the counter on him, just to get him out of range of shock. Hmm. Poor King Game Life, that doesn't matter. Create a Devil Creature token. Okay. Another Trickster would be nice on the draw here. We can drop River Sneak, hold up Trickster. It'll uh, get a nice buff when we go to block. Mentoring that. How do we want to run this? Block here, block here. And I suppose we'll block here. I don't really like blocking with the Mistbinder here, but I do want to try to take out a little bit of the board. I'm nervous about what might happen to Mistbinder, but we'll see. Okay, alright. So two river sneaks, huh? We gotta just keep, uh... I mean, we're, we're dead from, uh... A lot of things still. But we'll just keep our defenses up. It's all we can really do right now. Uh, no attacks. One, rem one removal is uh, all it takes here. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Go to game three. Uh, I'm pretty... Let's see. Pretty happy with this, I feel like. I don't really want to change much. So I think we'll just uh, throw it back into the mix. We we're just a couple turns too late. If we had that extra turn to establish our board, if we had that island, 
a turn earlier, we could have set up a, a little bit quicker and at least had a better board state and less uh, and more life to deal with. We're going to be on the draw. Oh, gosh, now we're just flooded out. Can't keep this. Fine. It's not great either. No. Got plenty of lands. Deep root, though. Okay. Stinkin out of the gate. Go hinterland. Um, not. Not gonna play Silvergill yet. Taken three. Could be worse. Another Mistbinder is excellent. So, same game plan. Deep Root Waters into Mistbinder, Mistbinder. Still taking a bunch. Probably take four. Phoenix. No, no, no. I do not like that. That's, uh, that's gnarly. Not playing these breeding pools because I want to keep our life title total high. Not liking where we're at right now. We need to get, uh, a trickster or our skydiver out to start competing with this phoenix. If a skydiver comes out, we can compete with this phoenix a little bit. We're still going to have trouble dealing with it though once it dies. Strike. Alright, so we're losing two creatures. I, I was considering the double block on that. Maybe it would have been best. Uh, but we're in rough rough shape either way. Might have to play Silver Guild Depth for full cost here. Nope, okay, good. Let's see what we get on the draw. Need Skydiver. Another deep root. Huh. It's not exactly what we need either. And we're definitely not going to take life from the breeding pool right now. Our life toll is way too low. I think we had one of these breeding pools at the beginning of the game. Probably should have. That's unfortunate. Probably should have played that tapped at the beginning when we weren't playing anything. Uh, that was a mistake on my part if that was the case. I can't remember if we drew into those or not. Well, we'll probably be conceding here relatively soon. But it was a good game. We had a first good. Okay, well, that's, that's that. <laughs> yep, Chain Whirler is a, a big problem for our deck, that is for sure. Maybe we should have went heavier on the, the counter spells, brought in all the Wizards Retorts, all the Negates. Because we didn't really draw into any, so maybe I went too light on the sideboard with those. But in any case, it was a good matchup. We, uh, we had some decent stuff going on there. They just managed to outpace us a little bit. We were a little too slow with the deep root waters. But there's really nothing you can do when you've got the one toughness creatures coming out early. Against other decks, it's fine. But against Mono Red, it's just they'll just clear your board like it's no big deal. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed, though. Stay tuned. We'll be back again tomorrow to play some more of the Simic Merfolk. Uh, unfortunately, we're putting another tick on the loss side here. But hopefully tomorrow we can swing back and see how well this thing can perform in the next video. So we will see you guys then.